Uh, this is where the Burman, this is where I was an engineer uh, designing antennas. Uh, also radar, uh, toll gate and executive drive, uh, ARE, American Research and Engineering, and, and K40. Uh, this is a really big antenna. Mm. And uh, hey, Michelle. What? Did you see what I saw? <laughs> okay, so I'm doing a funny video. I'm doing several retakes on this. Got the scope going here on the iPad. Uh, Bear on Pete's computer. And of course, the Mac for music. And uh, hey, let's see how this resonates. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, one to one. Um, <clears throat> Transmitting low power FM, one to one, not bad, not bad. For my first try, I had to adjust it a couple times with the uh, brackets. Don't touch that. And uh, so this is a J pole, <clears throat> sixty-four dollars worth of copper, man. Pieces, soldering, and it's uh, about two degrees outside, and it's uh, cold. And this is what we do during a blizzard. Uh, this is my neighbor's ham radio. Don't know how to work it, but. Uh, Eventually, I'm going to get my ham radio license. My friend Michael H. is going to help me with that. He's a smart dude. He's a biker. And uh, so, you know, he's actually smarter than me, but I just happen to be an engineer uh, for antennas, and we made several of them. And several of them are in Colorado. <clears throat> so, basically, uh, what was I going to say? Had a brain fright. Oh, yeah, years ago, Michelle had her FCC license for KPFK out of California. She's having a bad hair day. <laughs> and uh, so, anyway, <clears throat> I am going to get my FCC license uh, to broadcast. And so, basically, let me just go over here. And then, uh, I'll just uh, test it on to you. That's pretty impressive. Okay. And uh, so, oh, man. Hey, it works. Uh, so there you have it, <clears throat> J-Pole antenna, and uh, you have to adjust the frequency, and then you can adjust your SWRs by moving the brackets up or down, and then of course the space between here and here to adjust it, fine-tune it some more. So there is a bit of uh, variances, so uh, again, uh, good memories of living in Elgin, Illinois, uh, working, actually I worked for a few places in that area, and I used to live in West Dundee, Illinois, and I uh, would walk to work when it was really snowing, walk down the hill, up the hill, and go into work. It took me about 26 minutes to walk from uh, uh, 311 West Main Street in West Dundee to uh, <laughs> this location uh, in the snow. So not bad, not bad. So uh, I guess that's pretty much the end of the video. And I want to acknowledge my friend Michael H. Uh, for getting me turned on to the ham radio course, which I'm... More than halfway done. I'm gonna do some more studying. And the idea is, you know, when you make this antenna, use uh, copper or brass, and uh, you know, so you don't have any uh, <clears throat> uh, what, what do you call it, dielectric uh, corrosion type stuff. Okay, signing out. Thank you for listening.